Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Lynn, otherwise known as the Domestic Geek on Coral TV. If you're not familiar with Coral, we'd love for you to check out our channel. It's full of great tips, tricks, and shortcuts on everything from food to finance to fashion, and it really has something for everyone. So be sure to check it out and to subscribe. Today, I am here in the Kin Community Kitchen to share some great tips, tricks, and shortcuts for making the most out of one of the most important ingredients in the culinary world, garlic. Few foods pack a more potent flavor punch than this guy. In fact, garlic has been enhancing dishes around the world for more than 7,000 years. But while its flavor is impossible to ignore, it definitely can cause some food frustration in the kitchen. First, let's talk storage. Garlic can last for months when stored properly in a dry, dark place. One of the secrets to prolonging its life is continued airflow, so you never want to store your garlic in plastic like this. This can also cause it to mold. Forget it. You want to use a mesh bowl, paper bag, or do what I do and use part of an egg carton to store your garlic. Just pop them in the little slots and your garlic fits perfectly. Finally, you don't want to expose your garlic to light. That will cause it to sprout, creating a more bitter flavor. When dealing with garlic, the first order of business is to actually separate the cloves. Now, a lot of people try to do this by prying them apart, but it just doesn't have to be that hard. Try this old chef's trick instead. Basically, all you do is smash the garlic with the palm of your hand. It makes it a cinch to separate. So our next tedious task is peeling garlic. Now, you could do it the traditional way and peel each clove individually. Basically, you just smash it with the side of the knife and then pull the skin right off. It totally works, but if you're working with a lot of garlic, why not make your life a little easier? Basically, all you do is put the entire head into a bowl like this. Cover it with another bowl and then shake. And now, the moment of truth. Ta-da! What you're left with are naked cloves of garlic ready to dance into your next dish. Since most of us can't use an entire head of garlic in a single recipe, I've got some great ways to store your garlic so it's good to go when you are. The first technique is to store your garlic in olive oil in your fridge. All you do is take your naked cloves, place them in a small mason jar, and then cover them with olive oil. Now, it is essential that you do not store garlic in oil at room temperature. The reason for this is a harmful bacteria can grow that can actually make you very sick. So in the fridge it is. If you're looking to store your garlic for longer than a week, I recommend popping them into the freezer in a zipper bag. They'll last this way for up to six months. It's really important to note though, when they do thaw, they're a little mushier than their original state. So you wanna make sure you're using them either minced or pureed. Another great technique for storing your garlic is to store it already minced in the freezer. Basically, I take garlic I've already minced, place it into ice cube trays, and then cover it with olive oil or melted butter. Once they're frozen, they come out looking something like this, and they're ready to be thrown directly into a heated pan. Oh, you can smell the garlic sizzling already. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more great garlic tips, including a way to salvage your sprouted garlic, click this thumbnail here. I'll be back in a few weeks with more tips, tricks, and shortcuts here on Kin Community.